Hi, and welcome to the Zert Network Analyzer use case demo. In this video, we will present a sample scenario and show you how to use the Zert Network Analyzer to find the information you need. So let's get started. So a vulnerability has just been published, rendering the SSL version 3 protocol ineffective. So how do I find all my ZOS workloads that are using SSL version 3? Well, to do that, we'll use the Zert Network Analyzer. So I've just logged into ZOSMF, come in here and launch the Network Analyzer. So here's the Zert Network Analyzer welcome page. And across the top of the page, I see four tabs, one for each of the main functions. Now to find the use of SSL version 3, I'm going to use the Queries tab and the Reports tab. So let's go into Queries. So the first thing I see here is a list of four queries that other users have already built for various reasons. Now if I wanted to use any of these, I could run a query, edit a query, run it, and export the results directly to a comma-separated value file, or delete the query from the list. Now looking at these queries, I don't see any that are looking for SSL or TLS protocol versions, so I'm going to have to create my own query. So to do that, I'm going to click on New Query right here. The first thing I need to do is enter a name for my new query. And then I'll enter a description as well so other people know what the query does. Now even though the new vulnerability attacks SSL version 3 specifically, we know that SSL version 2 is weak, so we should include it here as well. Plus, we also know that TLS version 1.0 protocol is very similar to SSL version 3, so we'll include it here too just to get a feel for how many connections are using that protocol as well in case there's ever a problem with that in the future. So now that we've named our query, we need to specify the exact attributes that we're going to be looking for and which connections to examine for those attributes. So there's two types of filters that do this. Scope filters define the range of systems, endpoints, and dates over which to query. And the security filters specify the specific cryptographic protection attributes to query for. So let's first consider the scope of the query for our SSL version 3 query. Now under this tab, we could limit our query to a specific range of dates or systems or endpoints, but we're interested in any use of the weak SSL protocols on any of our systems at any time. So since we want to query pretty much everything that's in our database, we're not going to specify a scope filter here. So let's move on to the security filters. So you can see there's a lot of different types of security protocols and attributes I can select here. Since the new vulnerability is focused on specific versions of the TLS protocol, I'm going to click on the TLS protocol version here in the left-hand side as a category of attributes I want to search on. When I do this, I see all the possible TLS and SSL protocol versions appear on the right-hand side of the panel. So I'm going to click on the versions that I care about, again SSL version 2 since we know it's weak, SSL version 3 because that's the one under attack, and TLS 1.0 because it's possible that we might see similar problems in that in the future. Now I could also select other types of attributes here if I was interested in things like maybe symmetric encryption algorithm or uh, digital certificate. Uh, algorithms, things like that. Um, again, the same kind of thing. I select them on the left, they all show up on the right, and I pick the ones I want. But again, we're only interested in the protocol version, so we'll go with this right now. So now I go ahead, I've built the query I need, so now I'm going to save it and run it. I'll click Confirm, that kicks the query off. Now you see the, red, the spinning circle up here shows that the query is running, so I go into the Reports tab. So here are the query results. There's three different perspectives, each under its own sub-tab. I got the TCP server traffic view, which represents each unique server that's running on one of our own ZOS systems accepting inbound connections. I have the TCP client traffic view, where each row represents a unique foreign server. That's one to which one of our local ZOS systems is connecting outbound. And I have an enterprise extender view, which is a peer-to-peer -peer model but since TLS and SSL can't be used for Enterprise Extender, that view is empty and, and not really interesting for this exercise. So we'll go back to the server traffic view now. By default, the TCP summary view shows the ZOS system information, system, sysplex, and so forth, the server's IP address and port, and the user ID and job name that the server was running under. Now those last two things can be used as a starting point if we have to follow up with someone to eliminate the use of a weak protocol. 
There's also several totals for each server, one for each cryptographic protocol that Zerd understands, and one for connections that didn't have any recognizable cryptographic protection. Since we did a TLS and SSL specific query, the only column with non-zero connection counts is the TLS column. So you can see on this panel, we have 18 different servers. They were all running on the Germany system um, that were using one or more of the weak protocols. So let's pick one of these to dig a bit deeper. We'll pick this one here. So clicking on the server row expands it to show all the different clients that connected to the server uh, during the query period and we're using one of the weak protocol versions. So here we see there were three different clients that connected into this server along with their IP addresses and again the totals per client. Next we'll click on uh, this checkbox to select all three of those clients and click on the view security session details button here to bring up the exact cryptographic protection attributes that were used protect, to protect the connections between these clients and the server. Now this includes the TLS protocol version. So here we see that these three clients use TLS version 1.0. We also see all kinds of other information if, if we are interested in it. The cipher suite they used, the specific algorithms involved, and even if we go here we see other details like information about the certificates that were used, uh, the distinguished names from those certificates, and so forth. All right. Now let's see how we're doing on our ZOS clients. So we'll go into the TCP client traffic view. Here we have clients connecting to a single foreign server that were using one or more of those weak protocols. And again, those clients were running on the Germany system, as we see here. We'll click on the summary row to show which clients on our local systems were actually connecting to that server. Now we see there was only one client on one of our systems that connected to a server using a weak protocol. We see that the user ID and job name of that client program appear on this row now. So if we have to follow up with somebody to eliminate the use of this weak protocol, we know who to start with. And we'll go ahead and select the security session details. Here we see that, that same client again was using TLS version 1.0. So just for fun, let's modify our query to look just for SSL version 3 and SSL version 2. So I can go back to my queries panel. I see my query is still displayed. I'm just going to remove TLS 1.0 from that query and I'll go ahead and save it and rerun it. Go to the reports panel. Aha! So now you see that there's only one server that actually used an SSL protocol. This will be the first one we go off and fix. So let's take a look at that client, see what version they were using. Oh wow, this client was actually using SSL version 2, so he's been exposed for quite a while. It's a good thing we checked this. And we'll also look at the TCP client view, and again, confirming what we saw earlier, we only had a single client using TLS 1.0. We don't have any using SSL version 3. So we definitely have some work to do to get that one server off of SSL version 2, but overall we're in pretty good shape. And over time we should probably start working to eliminate the use of TLS 1.0 on those 18 servers as well, just to be safe. Hopefully this video illustrates how easy it can be to identify weaknesses in the cryptographic protection of your ZOS network traffic. For more information on ZERT and the ZERT Network Analyzer, Check out the link shown here.